Metroidvania ish. Yeah, Metroidvania is a pretty accurate way to put it. Hear you. There's only one reason I asked you to come for. Kane was captured by the enemy. Since they only since they once knew who he is, rescuing him is meaningless. Kill him. That's your mission. Kill Kane. I can't do it. First thing is to find him. All right. So first, transfer. Kazakh is the only place we can go to, so seems like the only place to go to. I mean, that's usually how that goes. Oh yeah, uh, flashing warning. Particularly when we're in Kazakh. I don't think the flashing's that bad in other areas, but like, anytime we're on the surface level here, there there's gonna be some flashing. Like, I think, yeah, once we go down this pipe. Nope, never mind. It's still flashing. Oh well, it's fine. Simpler times when flashing lights weren't a concern. I mean, NES era handles flashing lights better than the Atari era, at least. Hello? File number one acquired. We're gonna need those files, so. Pick them up wherever we go. Or whenever we find them. Yeah, because I, re <laughs> I remember playing uh, Maximilian B because Time Wanderer uh, DN me the game and the emulator pack and all that, and I'm like, wow, this game sure has some flashing. Especially the ending. Oh god, if, if you did not see uh, Maximilian B for Don't Make Us Bored the other day, uh, go watch it. Your eyes will hate you, but god is it hilarious. Really the best way to sum it up. Alright, so <laughs> Your eyes do indeed hate you. Also, how's it going, Daydream? Like I saw that ending when I was just watching Time Runder play on his own stream and I, and it just had me laughing. Please wait. A cane is up there, and the commander has the key. We'll find it if you analyze this. Please let me go. Ah, yes, some, uh, old NES translations. That's file number two acquired. Uh, we're actually gonna do a little quick death warp. Because those two files that we got, those are the only things we need to get wall in this area, so it's either walk all the way out of the area, or just die. We keep the files. Uh, no, I actually don't want to transfer. Because now, that we have some files, we might as well analyze them. File 1 analyzed. I'm Ryuzaki, a strider. I left my attack boots in China. Please find them. And what does file number two say? Vice Commander, it's me. I'll go to Egypt via Phantom Train. Don't lose the prisoner. Oh man, by Phantom Train? How high tech. So the important thing about the files is each time you analyze one, it gives you a new location to go to. So we're gonna go to Egypt next. Well, when they said train, they weren't kidding. There's a lot more to Egypt. And Egypt introduces um, probably the most frustrating mechanic of this game. Which I thankfully won't have to do too much. But every time I have to do it, uh, it just makes me a little more sad inside. 
I'll explain it a bit more when we actually uh, get to that point. But it is coming up pretty soon. Oh yeah, another thing that we actually did get while we were in the first area is the ability to slide, which is... nice. Alright, so I think it's... right around here is the mechanic I absolutely hate. And anybody who's played Strider uh, will probably tell you the same thing. Like, this is... The worst mechanic in the game. Um, besides the jump physics. The jump physics are... Not precise. Alright. It's... Yeah, it's right here. So... Too high of a jump. Um... You can wall jump in this game. But wall jumping is so... Like, so unbelievably precise. To be able to do. Like, I made it look easy there, but, oh god, I have spent so much time on that one wall, like... For lack of a better term, you could say it's the point where I got walled in this game. Alright, Aqua Boots. Which, uh... We will need those, because you get, as you can see, there's some water in there, and Strider can't swim. Stri Strider will just sink to the bottom without the Aqua Boots, and will constantly take damage. I learned this when I went into water and immediately died. Well, not immediately, but... Very quickly. Hey, it's the, uh, it's the golden rule of any good hard NES platformer. Your protagonist can't swim. I mean, it works for Simon Belmont. It also worked for Ryu. And now is where we're gonna be putting that slide to use. Sliding off! Oh god. Well, I should have thought that one out better. Let's... no. Not there. Egypt. Yeah, by the way, iframes don't exactly exist in this game. If you weren't able to tell yet. So, unfortunately, we gotta do the train again, but I believe... Yeah, we do keep the Aqua Boots. So... We think we don't have to pick those up again. We can just uh, jet straight to the uh, end of the area and get what we came here to get. Uh, even if it means... What's my train of thought? God damn it. <laughs> even, even if it means that, like, we're wasting a bit of time having to get back there, it's fine. It's not like this is a race or anything. It's actually funny, because this is, uh, we're supposed to be racing this in, like, a few weeks for Time Attack, but this was already a game on my list for game clearing anyway, so I'm like... Eh, I'll just play it tonight. Why the hell not? I have something to fill time. So... <laughs> you're gonna be seeing this game again sometime later. I think it's the first race that we're doing in March, so probably the first Wednesday of March is when you, you can expect to see this game again. Out of the pit, Strider. Uh huh. Uh, well, this isn't good. Never mind. We're fine. Okay, be a little more mindful of enemies and maybe pick a few more health pickups. Hey, okay. not nice. 
Yeah, so now we can walk across this water, no problem. As opposed to before when we just sink like a rock. By the way, mechanical shark that we have to fight? Makes sense to me. All right, this room is a fun one. Because that wall jump that I did earlier, you got to do that multiple times in a row here. And this is... Mm, oh, there we go. Okay. As def that is absolutely the hardest wall jump in the game, so I'm glad we're past that. Why do Striders have to disturb us? Oh, okay. I'll give this to you. Please don't kill me. The other thing we need to come here to Egypt to get, once it spawns in, key number two. So now that he has two doors, we can open. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna take the intentional death. Okay. So with this key, let's go back to Kazakh. Because I believe there is an S2 door back there that we can now open. What would happen if you left before the key spawned? Uh, you'd have to go back around and pick up the key. Or, or I guess in this case, you could at least uh, just go back down the pipe because these pipes, um, most of them go both ways. Some of them, however, are one-way pipes. Which is unfortunate because, um, some of the pickups later are right next to a one-way pipe, so if you go up the the, uh, the pipe without uh, grabbing the pickup, you have to go all the way back around the long way to pick it back up. And I have done that before. This probably also reminds me a lot of Bionic Commando. Well, this is a Capcom game, so that might be part of the reason why. I know that Commando is another one that is on my uh, game clearing list, but I am not good at Bionic Commando. It's a platform where you can't jump, which just kind of feels weird to me after a while. Oh, God damn it! Hi, Strider. Why is your momentum such garbage? I'm pretty sure this is where the S2 door is. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta get in the swing at things. Exactly. So you are here. Let me see Strider's power. So hey, guess what? We're at a boss fight. It was a good boss fight. Every quote-unquote boss fight in this game is pathetically easy. Except for one, but that's just trying to figure out what you have to do. Kane, wake up! No response. I guess I have to bring him back to the base. File number three acquired. The actual important part there. And thankfully, this time the game takes the liberty of just taking us back to base. Uh... Nope, nope, nope. Don't transfer, analyze. File 3. Where are we going this time? Something awful is happening. Zane Project should be interrupted. A chief in Japan might know something helpful. Well, it tells us where we're going next. To Japan. We do have Australia open to us. There's, like, nothing we can do in Australia right now. Australia is like an endgame area. Under orders of the Vice Director, we can't let you pass here. We shall kill anyone who comes close. Oh, will you? Another... I guess rather mid-bosses, rather than actual bosses, a lot of the time.
All right, what do we have from here? I'll fix your cipher so you can shoot plasma. This is something that I don't use too often, but it is still pretty helpful. Um, so you can hold up, and anything that lands on your uh, weapon will take damage, but now we can charge it up and fire beams. All for free, but it does take a bit of time to charge. So there is that caveat. And over on the other side here. You've gotten stronger here, you. Take this with you. Take what? Ah, another file. File four acquired. What did it? Did I not? There we go. Oh, this literally just goes in a circle, and that's it. Cool. All right, well, that's all we needed to do here. Let's get out of here. Here you. Kane is a dreadful weapon created by the Syndicate. It penetrates into your mind and makes you crazy. Hurry, there's one in China. Ha ha ha! Hear you! You'll be sent to your grave by me, Mr. Kane. Die. And send me to my grave? Yep, you sure did send me to my grave. <laughs> I love how pathetic every boss is. Same. My sister was the same way when she lost her mind. Zane, I'll destroy you till the last circuit. Sheena, please take care of Kane. And back to business as usual. Let's go to China. All right, so what what needs to happen here? Well, we'll find out soon enough. That's four doors, so we need the uh, we need key number four to go through there, which we don't have yet. But we'll probably get soon enough, I'm sure. Basically, just a memorize this for later. Um, but but besides that, I mean, all all the wonderful hills of China. I I used. My ability, yeah, I have the medical ability at least now. So, you might notice that you do have an energy meter in this game. You do get uh, special abilities. I just haven't found the the need for any of them yet. Um, medical is usually the one I use because, hence the name, it's healing. This is the main thing we needed to get while we were here on this visit: the magnet boots. Uh, Strider, you okay there? I kind of didn't want to jump when I told you to jump. Did you go to my room? The key number four should be at Kazakh. Alright, so we'll, we have a lead as to where key four is, which is conveniently enough what we need. We just need to get out of here and go pick it up. Because the magnet boots that we got should allow us to do exactly that. Zoom! Back into the air. I really wish we could just start in, like, the main area 
after the first visit where things happen because you have to do this walk up to the main uh, area every single time. But like, there's nothing happening on the way. It's literally just walk over to the place in question. So still don't have the uh, third key. If keys one and two, we're on our way to get four now. Um. So we're not gonna be opening up that S3 door that we just passed by for a while still. Uh, I need to watch my health a bit and possibly heal. That may, that may not be a bad idea. If I keep uh, taking dumb hits like this. Alright, so back through the S1 door. Because we've got more business here. Because what we didn't check on first time we were through here is this. These uh, weird floor things, uh, it's a little hard to really see the connection, but they are supposed to be magnets. And because we had the magnet boots, uh, we can be a ninja who walks on walls now. I shouldn't need the health. We get healed every time we go back to base anyway. I think we're coming up on... Yep. Plus, but we came here to get key four. Oh, but you, uh... You don't... Uh, immediately teleport me back out, huh, game? Okay, well... Let me see Strider's power. I could walk all the way back, but nah. Kick my ass. Kick my ass so I can get the hell out of here. Alright, so... Now that we have key four... Let's head back to China. Let's see what can be done here. Let's make some more use out of the slide. Problem is sliding, you can oftentimes end up sliding through enemies, and you'll still take damage. They don't care. Alright, the S4 door. What do we got going on here? Oh, a mid-boss. That immediately killed me. What the hell? Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, let's try that again. And this is what I get for sliding into everything. There, much better. Alright, this is a simple... Just keep ducking as the wall comes towards you. Just follow the rhythm. Nice and easy. Oh god. Revenge of the spike walls. Revenge of the very easy to dodge spike walls. Revenge of the bad jumping. Oh, for God's sake, Strider. Let's make a quick trip down here to get the attack boots. And now we got a wall jump out of here. Yay. I think we could take the pipe as well, but I'd rather just. 
try and get the, the wall jump. I've done this wall jump before anyway. It's not great, but... It's doable. Despite how I'm making it look. I mean, this is just the, the real Strider wall jumping experience. Okay, what the hell? You can jump off the left wall, no problem. But then right wall, and it's like, ha, no. I'll try this for a bit longer. If I don't get it, we'll just take the pipe to wherever the pipe leads to. Oh, that was that was a good start to a wall jump. All right, fine. We're, we're taking the pipe. Where does the pipe take me anyway? All the way back out, I assume. Yep. That sucks, but, you know, so is the wall jump. So the, there was basically uh, uh, no winning. No winning that situation. Oh, there's a mid-boss here, right. I think I just completely ignored the mid-boss. Last time we went through this area. I might have slid past their spawn area or something. That seems like something you could totally just accidentally do in this game. Oh my god, not again, Strider. Strider, why are you dumb? Why are you the way you are? Okay, yes, we gotta go down here. Yep. Oh, good! Some elevator fun. I love how trying to cup this elevator and the, the sprites just flip and glitching out. Good. <laughs> uh, let's uh, take a quick heal. Use the medical ability. Yeah, we're gonna pretend you don't exist, as the sparks come and get me anyway. Thank you for that. Alright, so we're gonna be fighting this thing a bunch, so... The way you fight is pretty much the same every single time. Destroy the thing that's going around the outside, and then uh, attack this thing in the middle. There's key three. We know exactly where to use that. Here you. Can't escape when I took my eyes off him. He seemed to be in his right mind, but his wound is not healed. Now let's head back for Kazak. Should be the last time we gotta head back here at least. Oh, nice. I can slide into these guys and they immediately die. That's useful. I guess that's the point of the attack boots. But you know what? I'm all for that. Alright, into door S3. What are we coming this way for? We'll find out shortly. Oh good, I was very momentarily stuck inside a box. 
Perfect. Uh, you know, I am <laughs> I'm not chancing walking around with 9 HP. You kidding me, game? No, we're we're healing that off. In a heartbeat. Okay, which I think it's this way we want to go. Oh, you oh my god. All right, fine. One more medical. Especially since that thing we just fought, we got another one right here. Level up. File 5 acquired. It's been a little while since we've gotten another file, so... Let's see what this one says. File 5 analyzed. Commander in Chief, Mr. Fascius Clay. We, the Strider Matic unit, will protect the Zane in Africa. Alright, Africa it is! Sorry, Australia, you're, you're still getting the shaft. Soon. Maybe. Oh, so we have the ability to water walk. Well, how about lava walking? I don't think this is actually lava, but it the color palette sure uh, makes it look like lava. Alright. Let's see if I remember where, where to go here in, uh, in Africa. Should be to the left this way. Then up and then back around. I'm very closely monitoring my monitoring uh, my HP though, because what is even my max HP at this point? 50. Now let's, let's drop a quick medical. And, you know, jump across spikes. Seems like the safe thing to do. Lavagators are, in fact, scary and scaly, yes. Oh god. Alright, so these guys who are just kind of hanging from the ceiling like spiders, we can, for the most part, completely ignore them here. They're not much of a threat. Oh, you might be a threat, though. I know how quickly you can delete my health bar. Oh, so this thing! Uh, that's poison. I don't think I need to tell you what poison will do. It'll do damage to me. It doesn't immediately kill me, at least, but... It is still unfortunate. Alright, we're popping another heal. No, there's a platform that's supposed to show up. Yep. I think we sh yeah, this looks like the end of this area. Hey, it's another one of these things. Who would have guessed? Alright, I should have enough health to not have to worry about dying, because your projectiles do, like, nothing to me. Two damage? Yeah, I'm gonna be real scared of that. There's file six. 
The last of the files. Where are we going now? Ah, oh, welcome back, Clay. I have, an I have an appointment with Manic in Los Angeles. Take care of things while I'm gone. Sheena! Sheena! Where did she go? Well, let's... Let's head to America. Seems like a... A good idea. Yeah, no, not, nothing ever goes wrong with that. Uh... Good. The Wall of Spikes is back. My nemesis. Ah, so this is fun. There's three pipes. Two of them take you back to the start. This one actually takes you f further in. Alright, where are we going? Here in Los Angeles. Here you, please defeat Matic. Get... Revenge for me. Oh dear. Hang on, let me bounce across some spikes. Ah, you fools. This tempered glass can't be broken by human power. You should have sided with me as Matic did. Hey, did you know that if you slash something enough, it dies? Can't be true, you monster! Key 5 acquired! Now that we have Key 5, it's finally time to go to Australia. Now, Australia, the beginning of Australia sucks ass. You know why? This is this jump right here. If you don't make that jump and go into those spikes, you're basically soft walking there until you either die or use the uh, your warp ability to, to go back to base. It's dumb, but that's the way the game is, unfortunately. I have fallen in that pit many times, and it is not a fun time. I mean, really, any of the pits, I think, can basically be softlock pits, but... That jump in particular is kind of irritating to make. Go after Matic. It's all his scheme. Okay. Uh... Got stuck in the door for a second, don't mind me. Stupid. It doesn't do any good to destroy Zane's terminals, as long as there exists the main tree. Oh, another one of you guys. I'll take the health. What else do we have in here? Oh, another one of you. I haven't fought you in a little while. You died pretty easily, though. I have never seen this boss before. What gives you the impression that I'm being sarcastic? Get out of here. Hiru, I tried to catch Matic, but I failed. Hurry, Hiru. Is at the Red Dragon. Okay, time to go to the final area in the game, the Red Dragon. And oh boy, is it a fun one. It's a lengthy area, and also, um, no checkpoints, so if you ever die, it's back to the start of the Red Dragon. 
I don't think it's that bad, though, if you know what you're doing. If you're going into it blind, though, and don't know how to really, like, get through the area and uh, do some of the fights, it is very easy to die, and you likely will die. Mostly because of one specific fight, which will be seen a bit later. It's actually pretty far into the area. But the boss in question uh, definitely killed me a number of times until I figured out how to fight it. Oh, and also dumbass jumps. You know, can't, can't forget about that small fact. Okay. Here you. You've done well so far. But you can't defeat me, Mag the Vice Director of the Striders. Ha ha ha. Oh, I bet. Oh, I hate this mid-boss. He just takes so long to kill. Because you hit him and then he goes into this tornado and you can't damage him and he also eats through your health if you're not careful. It's It sucks. For the most part, I have a feel about how to do the fight, though, so... I know you usually clock a little bit of damage on me. That's... completely expected, but... For God's sake. Just die already. Thank you. Magic is in the room over there. However, we can't open this unless we destroy two systems somewhere. Alright, so that's the next thing that needs to get done. Find these two systems and destroy them. Actually, let's... Ah, damn it. I could have actually done a little bit of healing. Oh, well. It should be fine. I'd like to think we'll be okay, still. You traitor! You shall die here! What mid-boss knife? Oh, it's just you. <laughs> Not a problem. And here's the first of them. I just... Shows up for you to kill him. Doesn't put up a fight or anything. You just stick your thing up and... Boom, dead. Yeah, I knew there was some health in there somewhere. Alright, so now for number two, which is a little bit more of a pain to get to. Drop down here. Give me that health. Oh, another mid boss? Ah, you. By the way, our shark friend's back. Except this time, he gets out of the water. I'm I'm using a heal. Oh, hey, my health is at 69. Nice. And we get to use those magnet boots one last time, too. Didn't think they were gonna be a one-use item. No, they're a two-use item. Top. 
Uh, what... What is next? Ah, yeah, this is where the other of those, uh... Things we had, had to destroy are. That's both of them accounted for. The main tree, uh, Yug... Yugdestrial? How the hell do you even say that? Yugdestrial? Yeah, we'll go with that. It's a demon's weapon. Watch out here, you. Fictional stuff in video games is always fun trying to pronounce. Whether it's fictional or something based off of mythology, they're usually a treat to try to pronounce. Manic is in the room over there. However, we can't open. We saw this before. We know the drill. Alright, the final gauntlet. Hear you. Welcome to our red dragon. We'll dance on your grave. Guess that's the quote of the day. We'll dance on your grave. Hey, mid boss gauntlet. First one, it's this guy. He's not too bad. Second one, this jerk. I'm gonna use a heal. Uh, we got multiple medical spells, so let's use a higher tier one. Get a little bit more health back. Problem is, unlike the last guy that we fought, the last of these guys, uh, we're in a much smaller arena now, which is a big pain for this kind of enemy. You should be more or less uh, down for the count shortly here. Yep. And you drop a large health. How kind of you. You made it here, you. I'll turn you into the rest of my cipher. Alright, so this fight has gotten me so many times. What you want to do... is actually just charge up your weapon and him. So if you try to attack him um, regularly, uh, you'll drop your weapon, you have to go pick it up. But if you hit him with a charge shot, he drops his weapon and he has to go pick it up and you can actually destroy him. We're gonna cast another quick medical right off the bat because we got one final fight ahead of us. Be careful. Doug Destiny rolls behind it. Alright, final fight time. It's another one of these, except we can just start attacking it right out the gate. And that's game. That's GG. Strider is finished. Thanks to hear you, Zane, the Devil's weapon, has been destroyed. Although the chief asked hear you to return to the group, he quietly turned it down and started to walk. This is really giving me some Ninja Gaiden feels, this cutscene. Imagine if we had a Strider anime. Imagine what that would be like.
This is all... This font just feels unnatural to me. Ah. I remember this from the credits. Advice. All. I don't know why, that just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> Alright, but Strider is now marked as complete in uh, the backloggery. What is even my current uh, complete ratio for NES games. Uh, about 30% uh, of my NES collection uh, finished. Which isn't too bad. Programmer. Zack. Oh my god, is, is that a heart in the credits? Nice. By Capcom. The end.